your daily 180, 180 seconds of pure Bible study. Thank you for being with us today for this, your daily 180 Bible study. This week, we're talking about our way with words. We're in James chapter 3, and I want you to begin with me at verse number 5. Even so the tongue is a little member and boasts great things. See how great a forest a little fire kindles. And the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. The tongue is so set among our members that it defiles the whole body and sets on fire the whole course of nature and is set on fire by hell. For every kind of beast and bird of reptile and creature of the sea is tamed and has been tamed by mankind. But no man can tame the tongue. It is an unruly evil full of deadly poison. And then he goes on in verse 9, With it we bless our God and Father, and with it we curse men who have been made in the similitude of God. Out of the same mouth proceed blessing and cursing, my brethren. These things ought to not be so. Does a spring send forth fresh water and bitter from the same opening? You see, the point that he's making is totally inconsistent for us to sing praises to God, for us to offer our adoration to God, and then defame a fellow human being. One moment we might be in a church building singing, Oh, how great thou art, how great thou art. And then we begin to talk about someone and we use derogatory language to talk about how horrible they are. We need to be very careful about the words that we use. Albert Barnes, and I want to share this with you because I just think he put it so well. Albert Barnes had this to say about our words. Who can measure the evils which arise from scandal and slander and profaneness and perjury and falsehood and blasphemy and obscenity and incalculation of error by the tongue? Who can gauge the amount of broils and contentions and strifes and wars and suspicions and enmities and alienations among friends and neighbors which it produces? Who can number the evils produced by the honeyed words of the seducer or by the tongue of the eloquent in the maintenance of error and the defense of wrong? If all men were dumb, what a portion of the crimes of the world would soon cease? If all men would speak only that which ought to be spoken, what a change would come over the face of all human affairs? Albert Barnes is exactly right. If we would just watch our words and use only those words, which are pleasing to God. What a difference it would make. Thank you for being with us this week, and join us again next week for your daily 180.